Yeah. Welcome to this video. We'll do some more practice on loops and let's go and in uh, uh, Rebel and then we uh, start the Java program and we'll see some different type of, of loops. So we are here and let's do a for loop now. As we said, we'll use the word for then end i equal zero, i less than 10, and then semicolon i plus plus. That's it. Now, because it's only one line, we don't need to add. So let's do look at our example, which we did in the previous video. And now we'll do some uh, interesting things with it. So that's basically the code, just a for loop that starts by initial value, then a semicolon there. Remember that one? A condition here, the loop will continue only if i less than 10. As soon as i become uh, 10, then it will stop and we're incrementing i by 1. If you run this code, you will get from 0 to 9 on the screen. As you can see, i equals 0, i equal and so on. Now, what if we say, see, started by 0, if we say start by 1 and run the code again, remember here we had from 0 to 9, remember that. Now, if we run the code again, we will get 1 to 9. So, how many items do we have here? If you count them, you will find we have 9 items because you're starting from 1. Uh, to, to 9. But previously when we had 0 here, we had 10 items because you have 0 also. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 until, until 10. Now if I come here and say i equal i plus 2. Now I'm incrementing, I'm doing a step uh, of 2. So starting by 0 then start going to Two and four, and you see how many items you'll have. I'll get zero, then I'll get two, then four, then six, then eight. So if I want to include ten, basically I could have said equal ten. Now I less than now ten is included into into the calculation. So that's one way I moved from uh, zero to ten.